head down to the bone. Yeah, yeah. Swerve, you yeah. crazy. And I got a thick bitch won't leave me alone. She bad down to the bone. And I got a hood bitch do it. What do y'all is Kane? If you didn't know, then you are a hater. And in order to not be considered a hater, all you gotta do is like, subscribe, and comment on this channel. Come in the exclamation mark. That's all I want. Anytime I post a video, come in a blue heart or any type of exclamation mark. Just come in a dot. I don't get what it is. You comment some, say, hey, I'll try to speak back. We're gonna do it like that. Uh, follow me on all other platforms like facebook.com slash roll it up K. That's where you get your wigs from. That's why I give away all the wigs, okay? I've been doing a lot of wig giveaways. Basically, every video that I come, that I post on Facebook come with a wig giveaway. All you gotta do is share the video and eventually I'm gonna go through the shares and pick somebody to give a wig to. Sometimes I pick five people per video. Sometimes I just pick one if I've already picked five in the last video. Go win your wig. Um, I just gave away some haircuts actually y'all know uh y'all been saying what about your male supporters what about y'all asses because i'm standing up there trying to give away a wig i mean i mean a a a a, a, a haircut i hit up one of the motherfuckers in the shells i tell them uh nigga you a winner you want a haircut motherfuckers. said what about my kids i check his page he got three motherfuckers. i don't know what the fuck about them i don't know what the fuck about tito jr and antoine i'm not buying you jr antoine and everybody and the whole family ain't finna get no motherfuckers. Haircut. You know, haircuts are 40 damn dollars these days. Even for little kids and 64 adults. That's why I, I ain't even got no haircut. I'm looking out for y'all. I ain't even got no more haircut. You talking about some, uh, what about your kids? I said whoever shared the video, I'm gonna go through these shares and they gonna get a haircut. Junior ain't shared no motherfucking video. F*** Junior. Got nothing to do with Junior. You, you could've took the $40 I was gonna send you and found you a cheap barber that'll cut you and all your kids' hair for $10 a piece. That's what they $40. Y'all greedy sometimes. That's why I don't fool with men at all. See, it's something about men that make me motherfucking sick. You can give a motherfucker a damn, I gave you Pluto. Why do you want Earth? It's people already on Earth. I gave you your own Pluto. You greedy. Like, damn, you can give a nigga Jupiter. He gonna ask about Neptune. You doing too much. I'm sick of that. It's, it's something about males lately that's been pissing me so far the fuck off. You know what, let me show y'all something. Hopefully I still got this in my DM. If I don't, then fuck it. But I had to block somebody this morning because he kept flirting with me. I keep telling him, leave me here alone. I done blocked the man. Hold on, I hope I can find it. I blocked this ass so hard, my finger still twitching. I blocked the fuck out that man. Every time I blocked him so hard, look at my finger cricket. This how hard I blocked his ass. My shit, I blocked his ass so hard, my finger to the side. The man has been like, this one of them type of weird man that you got to be careful with. Because he type to get pissed off about some shit. He been rhyming me, y'all. Been rhyming me, sending me hard eyes, all type of shit. Um, this is my video right here. Yeah, uh, hold on. Let me show y'all just a bunch of stuff. Yeah, like just little weird shit. Hold on, let me find it. You always making a nigga smile. I'm not here to make you motherfuckers smile like that, nigga. You need to be trying to laugh. Why you smiling? Stop smirking. I don't even know what you smirk at. Quit smirking. Cause now you got me feeling uncomfortable. See, now I make content for bitches only. See, I'm trying not to be that type of stud at. I'm trying to be cool with y'all. Anyways, um, yeah, niggas love you. I swear we do. Uh, what type of love, nigga? This ain't the type of love. Where you got your love from, Cupid, nigga? That's the wrong love. Nigga, your ass need to go get some love from your grandma. Love me like a goddamn cousin that you don't uh, play high and go get it with. The f hold on, uh, you pretty as fuck. Sometimes you pretty for. I know I'm not, nigga. I'm handsome. Nigga, I'm beautiful and handsome. I'm beauty some, nigga. I'm not pretty. Maybe a little bit if you was to just look at me from the side and I do this a little bit. <laughs> See, that's, that, that don't give, anyways, you slim on here, but you think in real life you got that ass while you playing that ass big as fuck. What? No, no the f nigga, you'll make me walk around like this for the rest of my goddamn life. Like, don't, don't stop writing me flirt. I'm going to have surgery to cut my whole ass off. I don't even want a back. I shit out my ear. Take my whole my whole booty hole away. I don't even want none of that shit no more. Then you hit us with the hair blowing in the wind video while you were in the car. They made that shit had my ass rolling like tumble weeks. Did you mean weeds, nigga? Tumble weeds. That's what you need to tumble your ass out my DM with this bullshit. Y'all, the man been writing me for months. How you doing, pretty lady? I'm not your mama. That's some shit you call your mama. Hey, pretty lady, go call your mama that. Don't call me no mother pretty lady. I'm handsome. I don't even want to be pretty no more. Cause apparently, pretty mean men. I don't want that. As y'all can see, it took me a while. I said, get the fuck on. Nobody wants your poe ass. And, and that ain't nothing against my poe supporters. I don't want his poe ass. I, can, I know a poe bitch. I fuck with a poe bitch. 
Cause I, I tend to poke bitches, but um, not men. He stood up there and he kept going, y'all. He didn't even, he didn't give a that shit right there. Activated him a little more. He said, oh, she don't want me. I said, what the fuck type of workout is this? This shit must be a workout. He probably like five pound flirt. He said, he said, I'm a hood nigga and you dressing up like a, a, a white person dog. What the hell? Nah, them legs look great. Tell about my legs look great. I'm about to wear gachos and motherfucking jabos for the rest of my life now. He talking about my legs look great. I don't even shave my legs. What the f*** you talking about? Nigga, we got the same leg. And he kept going, y'all. He ended up writing me a whole paragraph about can we be friends. He ended up writing me a whole paragraph talking about some can we be friends? Can we hang? Can we hell no, nigga? We can't do a damn thing. What's wrong with you? I will set you up. You will thank you for the hang with me. Now you hanging with 45 killers. Nigga, leave me alone. Like, hell no. Nah. Um, I responded back. I said, no, nigga. And sent them some screenshots and said, why would I want you near me or in my house? Write me again. I'm going to block your ass. I'm gay. He wrote back another paragraph. Now he got, now he blocked. He blocked. That, don't forget to see. Look, I already don't go through my DMs. And when I do, it's always some booger sugar shit. I don't want to see that shit all up and down my damn DM, nigga. I just had to show y'all that because I'm sick of that. Um, if you a man and you attracted to me, nigga, go to church. Go to church. Go to church. If you a man and you are attracted to me, I promise to God, just I'm nasty. I dig in my nose. I play in my ear sometimes, lick it. It wax tastes like hand sanitizer, and I like to taste hand sanitizer. Sometimes when my drawers be stuck in my head, I leave them there, pull it out, and smell it. See, you don't want me. You don't want me, I promise you you don't. You don't want me, you don't want me at all. Now, um, what I got going on today is a bunch of shit. As y'all can see, I got these boxes right here. What they mean we finna do, we finna open the shit up in my P.O. boxes. It's two, it's two big ass boxes of shit. Cause I got to get, I got to clear all this P.O. box shit out of my house and get it on. As y'all can see, I'm finally kinda done with my shoe room. Almost, you know what I'm saying? Well, this is really my work room. As y'all can see, I got my, my, my shoes going numbered. I would color coordinate it, but baby, that's a tie job. I'm gonna let her come up here and color coordinate some shit. Yeah, and we got the designers on that back wall up there. You go up the stairs. That is now my work room. Y'all see my little work desk up there, motherfucker? That's why I edit. That's why all the magic happens. I'm not doing too much today, but I'm doing a lot. You know what I'm saying? I gotta go get my hair cut because I look a fool. Today, I gotta get a hair cut. Uh, I got a full review today at five. It's something called Nostalgia, Nostalgia, a restaurant in Atlanta, okay? After that, I'm gonna open up all this stuff in my P.O. box. Whichever one I get to first, I might open my P.O. box stuff first, then go review the restaurant. We'll see where we make it to first, you know what I'm saying? And that's really all I gotta do today. Tomorrow, I got an event um, all the way in far shit. It ain't in Atlanta, Georgia. It's another event with my dude, uh, y'all will see tomorrow. That's a whole nother vlog, cause I'm gonna take y'all with me on that too. I've been trying to get back into my consistent bag, my traveling bag, my everything bag. I gotta get this shit together, you know what I'm saying? I got music dropping. Make sure y'all add all of my music to your Spotify and Apple playlist. I need my Spotify, my Spotify listeners to go up. Now they probably haven't because I'm not dropping the songs that y'all really want. And I'm finna drop one on one. I got the music video back for one on one. I got the music video back for Sexy Red. I got the music video for um I made Ty song and I got the music video in the works for that. You know what I'm saying? I shot three music videos. My brother shot one too. So make sure y'all subscribe to his channel. It's AOF Duke. A-O-F underscore D-O-O-K, I think. It's one on shit, you'll see. I need to go get my hair cut. That's the first thing I'm doing, then I'm gonna come back, put on me some clothes, or I might just rest. Cause I might do this later on the night just to do it late so I can not have this shit all on my chest. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, this probably later on the night. Yeah, let's get the day started. It's time to get the day started. I got a thick bitch won't leave me alone. She bad down to the bone. And I got a hood bitch do whatever I want. She'll freak out that daily on, damn. I hit this bitch on wrong, can't control her, hoe she grown, damn And I'm in and out, I'm gone, drop dick and I block her phone Like, I keep these little bitches mad, bitch I can tell I see that shit in they face, I got a little bit from me That bitch she a dog, she do whatever I say Like, come here, fit, sit, now do I Okay, so y'all, it's been a change of plans Um, I'm just now getting my hair cut, which was later on in the day I was supposed to get to do the full review at 5 o'clock, it is 7.30 But the place opened at 5, I just wanted to be there when they open So I can avoid like a crowd or Y'all know I like the work work. We're gonna blame Ty for the delay because she's not done getting ready. It's always her. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm about to do right now. I'm finna go ahead on and um, got my jewelry box. I'm gonna finish putting on my jewelry. Yeah, and we finna go eat. Y'all ready? Put on y'all clothes real quick. Mm. Mm. 
What it do, y'all? It's Kay, and I'm back with another review. Now, I hope this review ain't too long for y'all, but it's a lot to unpack, so bitch, sit the f down and watch the video. Y'all always trying to rush through some shit. Y'all, they got a new little restaurant in Atlanta called Nostalgia. Nostalgia, Nostalgia, look, I look, bitch, Narnia. Y'all, I didn't look it up before I came, but the owner had invited me. I see bitch walking in with heels and skirts on. I said, well, goddamn it, I didn't get the memo. I came to that mother dressed 10 buck too as fuck. Why ain't nobody tell me to put on a mother skirt? I could have wore a skirt or something. I ain't gonna lie, y'all, that's how I knew I was gonna be a little, uh, a nigga. Because I, I ain't want them, I ain't want to wear them no real skirts. Mama, give me a squirt, bitch, or I'm not wearing that shit to school. And, and I be seeing all the kids now; they get to be gay, young as fuck. I couldn't come out till after high school, bitch. My mama kept buying me gotchos. I was mad as fuck. Y'all, before we get into this review, I see this little shit going viral about me and my nails on Facebook. I don't see how she wear them nails. I just can't do it. Okay, you damn diggity die. Trying to see who the fuck y'all motherfucker you think y'all be king stud or some shit. Bitch. I don't give a fuck about all that. I'm gonna get my nails done with your booty finger. Ass. Don't nobody trust nobody with no damn booty fingers. Bitch. Like you build houses and digging your ass all day. Now, anyways, y'all know the most important part of all my food reviews is the fit check. And I f the food. It's really about the outfit, which sometimes I be bullshit. But this, I kind of like this one, bitch. Yeah, fit check, fit check. So fresh, make your bitch sweat, wet, all that. Ho, you ain't got them. Y'all ain't seen nobody put that shit together like this right here and just, just you know what I'm saying, real simple. Bitch, I ain't even got to do too much. Now, let's get into the review, bitch. Simple, don't bark no damn mo at something that ain't done. Now, y'all, what me up was I ain't know this restaurant was this fire. It, I really wish I had a dressed up for this shit. I'm talking about we could have went on a real ass day. Look at the ambiance in this bitch. I said, man. Listen, y'all, I'm so sorry if I cuss too much, but if I do, just get the f off the video. You ain't even got to watch this shit. Just I'm gonna tell you now the food good. Just get the f on. You ain't even got to watch the rest of it. I appreciate how they handled me when they seen me, you know what I'm saying? Cause you know when I'm coming to your restaurant, I'm probably finna review it. So they put me over there in the side so I can have my own little moment, you know what I'm saying, to my damn self. Cause when I walked in, people knew who the I was, I be feeling like Gordon Ramsay. But the restaurant's so nice, y'all. Next time I go, I gotta sit in the middle. I gotta sit in the in the in the mother middle. It's so nice. And, and y'all know I hate a wide back ass menu. The menu real simple and sweet. You know what I'm saying? You got you a couple of entrees, couple of appetizers, and uh, y'all, I wish they had went wrong somewhere, but they just did. And I'm gonna be real, y'all. Most times when I do food reviews, I try not to like shit. I be like, God damn it, be nasty. I'm trying to talk some shit. And, and, and if you go in a restaurant in Atlanta, they got a DJ, just know they finna be spinning the right shit the whole time. Any restaurant in Atlanta, they got a real DJ in it. I'm telling you, you gonna, it's gonna be hard to eat. Yeah, gonna be twerking and chewing. We can't be cute for nothing. What the f type of shit was that? Why would you choke me? What the f type of, that ain't cute. I appreciate how everybody who came up to my to my table was very informative. In that word. In the formative. See, if I don't cuss, I stutter. Either cut, it's, it, I either motherfucking cuss or stuff. Y'all, I also appreciate the owner for coming to um, meet me. At first, I was scared. I said, that coming, ain't it? Bitch, that, that, that goddamn Jennifer Hudson bus ring. Shout out to the social media manager and the, um, the consultant. They was real sweet. And when I tell y'all, when they got to bring his shit out, they got to bring his shit out. Now, the first thing they brought me out was some C-Rab claws, y'all. I'm telling you. Ooh, we finna get into it. I'm telling y'all now, turn your brightness up, because this shit finna get beautiful. I'm talking about they played it all. That shit so fucking nice with flowers on the side. I said, oh my God. I said, damn, I don't know if I'm in a restaurant or edible arrangements. Where we at? But y'all, them claws were so good. I thought they was going to be the best thing on the menu, because I was tearing them up. But y'all, it was the way they seasoned them, because I done had these before. But the way they seasoned them was so motherfucking soulful. Who put their chest in this shit like this? I was tearing them whole. I forgot Ty was with me. Here, here, baby. I'm so sorry. I, I've been a left a whole hungry. And y'all, then they brought me some egg rolls. Don't get me started on a motherfucking egg roll. Y'all, these are the soul rolls. Basically, soul food inside of an egg roll. It come with greens, macaroni, and some yams inside, right? And you dip it in that sauce. There's some sweet ass, good, delicious ass sauce. Y'all, that shit was so motherfucking good. I almost slapped the fuck out of time. Why you can't do this? And usually, when people try to put soul food inside of egg rolls, they overdo it. It don't taste right. These the mother this the best shit on the menu. To me, the egg rolls the best thing on the menu. I got them. To go and all. And honestly, the truffle fries, they went nasty. They were some regular truffle fries. The, the only thing is, I should have ate them bitches first. As an appetizer, I should have went on and ate them first and did everything else in a row secondly because all that shit shitted on the fries, baby. Now, I don't know who in the back there made my damn lemon drop, but goddamn, that mother dropped me. Talking about that shit was stronger than a nigga who found out his baby mama was fing the dyke. Because one thing about it, you niggas get real strong when it come down to a stud fucking your baby mama. You'll beat the fing out the stud, but the nigga that robbed you for your whole entire pack, you. All right, we gonna talk about that another day. Sometimes I get off a little bit. But now nah, for real, the lemon drop could have been good, but that was so strong. I told Ty, baby, you finish that, baby. You finish that, because that shit's so motherfucking strong, motherfucker. What the fuck type of... I'm talking about goddamn Larry the Lobster-ass lemon drop. Goddamn weight-lifting-ass lemon drop. Now nah, for real, y'all, my bitch is my best friend. We be thugging. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit the folk be saying. Y'all ain't gonna last long. I don't give a damn if we do or don't. We lasting right now, that bitch cool. But anyways, y'all, we started off on the road. You feel me? They brought me out some oxtails. I said, oh, these bitches look beautiful as was ready to eat them from the back. I can really be a photographer. For the way I work this goddamn camera, look at how beautiful that shit look. It can't nobody with me. It might be my camera though. That mother 
$5,000, it better look good. I'm telling y'all, when they started, they didn't stop. They brought me out some turkey legs with some macaroni and some yams, and I was ready to eat the macaroni and yams um, separately because I had just ate them inside of the egg roll. I wanted to get my own personal, you know what I'm saying, velocity of them. And for the ones that be asking me, yes, I be praying when I eat. It be fast because I don't pray for myself. I pray for the restaurant. Be good now because I'm going to talk that shit. Amen. Now, I'm going to be real. The oxtails was not nasty. It's just me. I like when my oxtails have a little spice to it. These right here, they were seasoned and everything, but and they was real tender, y'all, because they fell off the bone real good and easy. As you can see, just lift up the bone, the shit fell right the f*** on off of it. It was actually tender as hell. Talking about real hot and ready. Couple of I know. Hot and motherfucking ready. Like, it went nasty on some shit. Like, ah, ah, they'll eat that shit again. It was just, you know how I, I'm so used to jerk oxtails. They didn't have not a lick of spice. I'm talking about... They were seasoned, but it just wasn't seasoned to the my motherfucking. I, 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 okay, let's keep, let's move on. Now, if you ain't got no marshmallows on your candy yams, you really don't know what the fuck you doing. Them yams were so motherfucking good, bitch, and that macaroni was so goddamn black of the fuck wrong. Y'all, I'm telling you now, if the cook a woman, I will give her everything I got to move in with me. I'm telling you now, if the cook is a woman, Ty gonna have to scoop the over because this shit was so damn good and y'all i love me some turkey legs i definitely love me some turkey legs especially when they seasoned like motherfucking this. and it was cooked person per nigga damn i can't even say perfect round this shit be slipping through the gap wrong the velocity and the magnitude of the seasoning inside of the turkey leg was literally amazing i am astonished at the amazement of the taste from the turkey leg and i literally thought it could get no better than this it could it, it could not get any better until they brought out the fucking snapper they brought out these guys. They brought out the snapper and the, now the snapper scared the out of me. Uh, I, I hate the way snappers look. Bitch. That motherfucker looked like it was frightened when it died. And I tell you the truth, I ain't give a fuck how hot that motherfucker was. I bit bitch. That shit was so damn good. And see, nah, you know what? I don't know what the fuck to pick. This, okay, the egg rolls are the number one thing on the menu to me. Then we got this snapper. The snapper is second because of the, the, the crispiness, the velocity of the crispiness was so motherfucking good and perfect. Now, y'all, when I was in middle school, somebody told me I got a broccoli stick ass nose. Why that shit was true? And I'm fed up about this shit. I'm, I, I ain't even realized that tonight. Now, y'all, this is the perfect place to take your girl on a date. I know my girl is my assistant, so I'm pretty sure she knew it was going to be type fancy, but I didn't know because I never look up the restaurant. I just like to go in blind and eat the shit up and, 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 and get a real review off the shit, but... I really like the vibe that I caught in this restaurant. Maybe it was that motherfucking strong ass, big back ass lemon drop. And y'all, every five minutes when I tried to get the f up, they brought something else out. I said, listen, now, just bring out the ass. Yeah, I know y'all got some ass on the menu. Well, y'all keep bringing some shit out. And they ain't even have to show their ass like this. Why they, why they came out like I said, we in the Y'all don't order none, make sure you order this. Look at the velocity of the macaroons, the, the, the chocolate strawberries, the, the, the cheesecakes. It was all so set up so beautifully. Now, y'all, I always see these, them lemon filled things and I never had it before. Why that shit good as fuck? Try to some, uh uh, don't eat that on camera. You trying to show them what I'm working with. Yeah, yeah, bitch. just in case you fuck up, I'm letting you hold no, I can empty a lemon cup. Come fuck with me. I'm just playing, y'all. Ty can fight a little too good for me. I'm fine. Ain't with that hoe like that. And by the way, y'all, the cheesecake, good as fuck. I ain't even have to say that this. And like I said, y'all, they wouldn't let a bitch leave. Like I said, now, now look now. I'm trying to walk out the door. She's telling me, I made you a drink. Look, bitch, I'm finna run up out of here. Y'all, Ty didn't like it, but I liked the run punch. The shit was good. It was it was a bit orangey, but it was good as shit. If y'all don't support no other black-owned business that I try to put y'all on, this got to be the one. Now, I'm going to be real. You might see a crackhead or two on your way down the street to it, but the crackheads don't be inside the restaurant. That's all that motherfucker. But at least you get a little entertainment on your way down. Shit, I see the crackhead twerking, butt bonky. I said, damn, I usually have to get on Twitter for that. But speaking of get on Twitter, get your ass on my YouTube and subscribe to the channel. Or if you don't want to do that, go to my Facebook because only real bitches have Facebook and go follow and like my support page on Facebook. And then go follow me on Instagram. And then TikTok. That's on you if you if you don't want to do it on TikTok. I, I ain't going to be greedy, bitch. Okay, so y'all, as promised, it is time for me to open up the stuff from my P.O. box. Um, My camera on like 60%, which is a lot, but it don't last long. If you see your brand inside of this video, make sure you screen record it. Post it on your Instagram story, and I mentioned it in mine, you know what I'm saying, to try to, you know, give you some type of promo for you. You know, I appreciate y'all for sending me stuff. I'm never going to diss y'all to turn y'all down. Y'all who want personal fit check videos, personal pictures of me wearing your gear, you got to email me at bookrolledupk at gmail.com. That email right there works for all bookings, but it does not work for begging, so please. Stay out my email bag for shit. Like three boxes over here, three tall boxes. We're gonna get as much done as we can until my camera dies. So if this video pause, 
and just stop at the end and just boom go to my outro that's because my camera ended up dying so we're gonna get this we're gonna try to do this as fast as we can so i can not do too much you know what i'm saying uh i know a lot of y'all clothing line owners been going through it lately uh because i know uh recently corn had did like a p.o box opening and he was dogging shit out you know what i'm saying and it made everybody else get the dog in his ass out Go and see what was wrong with his brand and shit like that. I'm gonna tell y'all now. If I don't like your brand, I just don't like your brand. If I like it, then um you will know that I like it. But I will not shoot co shit. If I feel like the shit should be worked on, I'm gonna straight up tell y'all too. Now I ain't gonna be as aggressive as like just throwing y'all shit like what the fuck? Like y'all ain't gonna do all that, but I'm gonna just straight up say some of the shit and some of the clothing lines that he was pulling out was real bad when he was saying it was ass. Cause uh, sometimes you gotta put a little heart, a little thoughtfulness, a little, a little. You gotta put more into your brand. You know what I'm saying? Like right now, I got on my brand. This right here, these pants. This my brand. But I'm not satisfied. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all see, I ain't got it for sale. I'm not satisfied. I feel like it could be better. You know what I'm saying? But I really like the sweats. You get what I'm saying? Like I really like the sweats. They dope. Uh, would y'all shop with me? You feel me? If I if I was selling these. Like, well, I think they actually kind of vibe, but I want more. I want better. I want to be more detailed, and I'm really putting my heart into it because my clothing line is one of my biggest passions. It's been a passion before a lot of other stuff was a passion. Okay. Ugh. Let's get into this P.O. Box opening. Package number one. This came from Trap Water Company. Trap Water Co. C.O. This smells a little funny in this bitch. What the fuck going on there? Oh, hell no, nah, twin. Mm-mm. Oh, oh, fuck no. Uh, oh, uh, it's wasted. It's, um, nah, twin. I can tell y'all quit sending me fucking food and I don't know about it. Why the fuck would you send me this? It's my like rubber alcohol in there. That is crazy as hell. See, you fucked up. Well, um, listen. Stop sending me liquids that you ain't packaged with your heart and your soul. Motherfucker, what the f was that? This right here came from T Cherry. Okay, T Cherry from South Carolina. She sent this May the eighth. Okay, she sent me some hats. Um, Love Runners. Okay, Love Runners Religion. All right, she just sent me some hats to keep the sun out my face for the summer. Okay, I ain't mad at that. All right, okay, cause. Hey, shout out to the Lakers for drafting Brennan James. That's some fire ass shit. I guess we're going with the Lakers colors today. That's all that is. Okay, so send me another hat. Oh, shit. All right, well, I'm not mad at that. You know, it's not too much. It's not too, you know, it ain't too much. It's just this right here. She just sent me three hats. All right, little runner's religion. What the Instagram at? Did they put an Instagram in nothing or nothing? Ain't no Instagram on that box. I wish I had a new the you was, but I guess maybe um Love Runners Religion, maybe that Instagram is it ain't nothing like that on that. All right, now see another thing. When you trying to promote your business, and like you trying to promote that motherfucker, where the they gonna get that from? All right, y'all. This right here came May 23rd from Ad Maralta. What the fuck is that name? <laughs> Let me see what's going on with this here. B, yup. These is nice. These are like an aquarium. I f with these. It's A D M A T. That's a T or I. Okay, A D M A I O R A. This must be her Instagram, man. We just gonna assume that. You sure that's an I? Yeah, that's it. like a T on this motherfucker, but alright. This, this is fine. I like this hat. Yeah, the hat. This hat is valid. Hold on. Oh, okay. Now, this gonna get rocked. This for shit show gonna get rocked. Hold on, I like this. I actually like this, y'all. You did that. This, okay, with the shorts and some fire J's. You did that. See y'all, when um one day when I see I'm really just playing catch up with all my PO box stuff. From after this stuff, I'ma start actually putting it on like doing a real try on haul of my PO box stuff. I'ma start doing that. Um, now this right here. Oh now nah, she snapped with this bitch. You snapped with this. This hard as fuck. I remember I tried to shop with one of my friends that sell a brand. I put that shit on, that shit was funky as fuck, bitch. That's why I don't everybody don't support their friend. You like this? We 
Spilliski, Brian Spilliski, Brian Spilliski, don't stop. All right, y'all, this next package comes from, all right, Mr. No Name. This nigga ain't putting no name on this I'm just gonna assume you put a card up in here for my in the floor, okay? I'm not putting this motherfucker on, this motherfucker in the see through. Y'all see what I'm saying for y'all? Nah, nah, player. It's not the worst shit I've never seen. It just need to be a little more put into it. No days off. I'm sick of hearing it when it come down to brands. No days off, keep grinding, just the stuff like that. But uh, who the fuck this shirt for? Just sent me a parachute. Let me show y'all how, how big this shit be looking. When well, y'all be sending me this fat ass shit. Do a little it's it's kinda ill see through though. Do, do, do it do a little terrible. It do. Now that I got it on, it's not the worst shit. On um, mine it's not. It's just um the thought process into the name and to the, you know what I'm saying, the design. There ain't nothing wrong with this now that I look at it. Um I just probably if I was in the store, now nah, I would just grab and buy. And that's what a brand is all about. Somebody seeing this stuff in the store and grabbing it and buying it because I, I believe in you and I feel like this is gonna end up in the store, but it won't end up in my closet today. <laughs> you got some shorts too, they got me some shorts too. Let me see these shorts in on. What type of big ass y'all think I am? These ain't big, these don't look big to you? Nah, these ain't that big at all. This the part, why would you? I'ma stretch my way up in these. I'm gonna try my best to fit these. God damn, twin, what's up, man? Y'all, I'm small as this is a medium. I probably can't fit these. I should try. These ain't too big, is it? They look a little heavier. They look on the heavy side. Let me see. I ain't mad at these. I ain't gonna say I'm pleased with them, but I ain't mad at them. Matter of fact, I'm gonna keep them on. I'm gonna keep them on. No days off, underscore, I-N-P, underscore, apparel. This not too bad. This not too bad. This might not be too bad, you know what I'm saying? Um, It's giving swim, uh, not swim wet, brain coat. I don't know how you like it? Here you go. You can have it. Take it. Don't like that much, huh? I'm just playing. Um, I'm gonna actually probably should I throw this on real quick? Okay. I, I wanna try every damn thing on, but at least I like your shorts and ain't nothing wrong with this though. It's actually nothing wrong with this at all. This going into my keep section. Cause I'm gonna keep this. This shit gonna be put on. I'm keeping this. I actually like that though. I ain't gonna lie to you. I like that. I like that. A lot of people, um, the only thing it is, y'all, when you don't put that much thought into your uh, your brand and stuff, people can notice it. People can, people can tell. Okay, y'all, this came from Hood Nerd LLC from Grove Town, Georgia. It's Hood Nerd, I guess. That's the Instagram. The, the Instagram is Hood Nerd. What's crazy is the concept is actually fire as fuck. When you think about the um the the table, the uh periodic table, whatever the fuck it's called, you got N E R D. That, that's fucking fire. Maybe a thicker shirt vendor. This is actually nice. Let me give you an idea. Because things are changing, you know what I'm saying? Everybody don't like, like, I know somebody that'll buy this shirt. And trust me, anybody will, I would. Um, I think you gotta incorporate more of today's style into it. Try to uh make the sleeves longer, but the shirt shorter. Do something like, um, or make everything bigger, like an oversized tee, real thick. I actually f with this though. That's going in the keep draw. That's going in the keep one. This right here came from Dazzled Culture, okay, from Watertown, New York. Why you sent me some rocks? Some little bit of pebble. Where, where they go to? You can figure this out. Hold on, let's see. Let us say, my name is Chasmin. I am a small business owner, a mom of three, and a military wife. I just wanted to say thank you for being you. Thank you for making the world smile and laugh. Thank you for keeping us entertained and giving us something great to look forward to. This cup here is a gift. I pray that every time you take a sip of, out of this cup, you can feel love, peace, and happiness. I have watched you since you were doing wig reviews years ago. I told y'all bitches I've been banned. Um, since you were doing wig reviews years ago, I am unsure how I came across your page, but I am grateful that I did. I plan on making time simple, something personalized too. I hope this gift reaches you in good spirits, and I hope you like it and enjoy it. This is a speaker cup, so connect it to your Bluetooth and sing your heart out. Okay, hold on. Just know the ones who mind don't matter, and the ones who matter don't mind. We're rooting for you, and we love you, Kay. Love always, Chasmin Harris. I used to sometimes, I ain't really raise my hand on no reading shit, but I just snap. Um, her Instagram is Dazzled Culture, okay? For the cup, the Instagram is Dazzled Culture, D-A-Z-Z-L-E-D-C-U-L-T-U-R-E. -E. Okay, I appreciate you for watching me ever since I've been doing wigs, because I promise you, I really appreciate that. That's a long time we've been watching you since then. Now I'm really ready to see the cup, because you said it work on Bluetooth. Hold on now. Shake it fast. Oh! 
You might have popped. Oh, you popped your shit. Look at it. Yo. Look at it. It's a fucking rope. Roll it up, Kay. That's me. And it got this on the side. And now I see you sent me the extra rocks just in case some of my rocks fall off. Ooh. Your Bluetooth device is ready to pair. Let me say your YouTube device is ready to pair. Nah, she just snapped this. I'm, I'm wrong if I try to press music off of quick. I'm wrong. I'm doing too much. All right, y'all see that it works. It works. It works, y'all. Just know that it works, and I'm definitely gonna drink out of that. You ain't got nothing to worry about. I appreciate you. I'm definitely gonna drink out of this. Okay, y'all. This right here came from EJ Young. That nigga, we phone number on this bitch. What the fuck you trying to do, boy? Uh, yeah, EJ Young from. He said, "Hey, I didn't know your size. I hope you like it." Okay, okay, I get it. His IG is um official Don Pierre. Official D O N P E R I O R. Okay, these are nice. These are cool. This nice, my boy. You ain't, you ain't too bad with this. Racing clinic. Okay, so you must got like, you like to race cars, you want some NASCAR shit. I kinda like this, man, I like that. So long. I like this. Ha <laughs> ha! I like that. Yeah, my boy, that's going in the well. That's going in the well section. I'm keeping that. Okay, so y'all, I hope we make it to the boxes, but my camera is on 40%. I think we're we'll gonna make it one. I know damn well that ain't gonna say worldwide, dude. Invasion worldwide. I'm pretty sure that's their Instagram name, Invasion Worldwide, okay? I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that, and I can tell there's a bit of thought put into, put into this. What you think about it? Yeah. I'm not mad at that. They're wide as hell type of body I think I got. This is wider than a mother Shit, this might be five as on though. Yeah, Invasion Worldwide, I'm rocking that. Appreciate that. This one right here came from, I don't know, they ain't tell me. Oh, boy, I was gonna say, boy, I'm not wearing your ass on my motherfucking shirt. I thought that this was the shirt, but that's really just like a letter that he sent me. I'm back in business, but hey, I've been watching you for a while. I just made a clothing line. I have more stuff on the way. I'll make sure it's coming your way. His IG is She Loves JTK. She Loves JTK, Jersey the Kid. Okay. Okay, now Jersey the Kid. Let's see what you got going on. Some told me it was gonna be hard. <laughs> you see that? I like that. Hold on now. That is cute. That's cute as hell, boy. You just put that, yeah. Yeah, boy. And I'm rocking it on everything I am. Watch. Yes. I like that. Hold on, my boy. Hold up. Oh, yeah. You just popped your shit, twin. You just popped. You just popped it right here. Yeah. Jersey Kid. Go shot with that boy. You lame as hell. Straight up, I like that. Okay, y'all, this one came from Crafts by Sherelle. I'm scared to open this. Probably none of the candles and shit. So I'm gonna smell good up in this bitch. Ooh. Okay, she got me an ashtray. Okay, she got me an ashtray with my little pictures up in there. All right. And she got me um a cup with my pictures on the cup. Ooh, it's the air fresh. A fucking car air freshener with my pictures on there. And I'm wondering why. It smell, ooh, that shit smell good as hell, mother Oh, and you gave me some, ooh, okay, you gave me a few on. That's a good ass business. That's some smart ass shit. I don't know no bitch out here selling um, car fresheners, car air fresheners, I'm out here doing it. What is it right here? I'm scared to open it. I don't want to open it and it be some car air fresheners and I'm opening them all. Oh, it's the thank you card. You can literally do what the fuck you can't make. This is hard. Oh man. That's hard. Okay, you are truly blessed for talent and I cannot wait to see you go all the way up. Okay, I appreciate you. Second, on behalf of everyone that thoroughly enjoys your content, thank you because I see with you and what, nah, nah. Big words. You're going too fast for me. Thank you. She gave me a, uh, a rolling tray with my face on it and a damn lighter. All right. Crafts by Sherelle, y'all. I think that's on Instagram. Crafts by C-H-E-R-E-E-L. I think I'm just high. But anyways, y'all, it, it's Crafts by C-H-E-R-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. Crafts by Sherelle, y'all. That's her Instagram. Not for real though. Um, first and foremost, keep popping your shit. You are truly blessed for talent, and I can't wait to see you go all the way up. Second, on behalf of everyone that thoroughly enjoys your content, thank you. Because I because everything I see with you, because everything I see with you in it puts a smile on my face. Third, thank you for my wig and for oh. All I said a week before. 
Thank you for my wig and for my wig. Thank you. I shaved my sides a few years ago and my shit growing in like a <laughs> on weekends full. She said her shit growing in like a fire fire marshal bill. Oh man, who f fire marshal bill? That must be somebody. Um, it's crazy to me because I reached out to you on Facebook through Messenger to get your PO box address about 30 minutes before I come in it and you picked me for a wig. I know you good and got down. I know good and got down well. You probably still haven't seen my message on there. But big shout out to God, the ancestors, and anybody else. I hope you like the thank you gifts I made for you. Much love. I love you, Sherelle. Thank you so much, Sherelle. I love you so much. I can't wait to see you and hug you. And you gave me some swish sweets. You just pulled me back. Wait a minute. The goddamn swish sweets got my face on me. God damn it. Hold on. I wouldn't even finna open it. But y'all, wait a minute. The damn swishers got my face on me. God damn. I ain't never smoking these while you playing. I'm gonna keep this shit and put it up somewhere. I'm going to keep that and put that up somewhere. On to the next one. This one came from... It says, thank you on the, on the card. The card says, shit. Okay. Kitchen on fire, home of fire, home of fire dishes, and baked goods. Her Instagram is kitchenonfire23. Okay. Ooh, nah. These look stanky as hell. Nah. Ooh, it's a wrap for Oh Ooh, shit. Ooh, my bad, girl. Shit. Mm. Sorry, though. It's too late for that. This right here came from Hood Rich Clothing Company. I keep trying to tell y'all, stop sending me food and um, don't let me know that the food coming. You better email me and tell me the food on the way and I'll let you know if I'm gonna touch it in time. I'm the type to tell you through the email. I ain't touching this shit. Okay, this came from Hood Rich Clothing Company. I like the packaging, that's hard. Okay, these the pants. These some pants. Okay, these are the pants that make your ass sweat. Yeah, I like that. I like that hood rich clothing. You did it. Oh no, nah, this is some good ass material on this shirt. This is actually nice as fuck too. Hold on. <laughs> That's hard. Okay, hood rich. Hold on. Now what's your Instagram? Hood rich racing. I guess that might be your IG. All right, y'all. Now it's time for us to open one of the big boxes. This one say fragile, it came um, February 28th, 2024. Okay. From BTGCCO. Y'all need some abbreviation. Ooh, that's some strong ass coffee. That shit just woke me up off a sniff. Oh, it's a bag of coffee. Bridging the Gap. That's what the f company is. Bridging the Gap Coffee Company. I'm gonna try that goddamn coffee because that's, that's different right there. That's different. That's very different. I'm from Alabama. Oh, oh, wait a minute. You from Alabaster, just outside of Birmingham? I'm gonna try your coffee for real. Y'all know I'm playing by my mother's home state. You from, um, well, bet it's up. I'm trying this coffee. And that's very different. Something for you to, like, if this is your friend's brand and y'all know it, let them know that this is dope. This is something very different. Um, I wanna venture into everything. Like, I wanna start selling everything when I tell you, like, but coffee has never come across my mind. Send another one, cause Ty trying to take my shit. This is nice. All right, y'all, this right here came from, who fuck they came from? What the hell is this here? This came from Melanin Queens Boutique. Melanin Queens Boutique. Okay, stay gold. Okay, there's something real simple. All right, I ain't mad at that. That's just some simple shit, I guess. Okay, I see where you're going. Okay, and she sent me a hood. Hey, the hood said I'd hit that. <laughs> you talking to me? All right, this came from Lulu Cakes. I ain't even about to open it more. Her Instagram is Lulu Liquor Cakes. L-U-L-U-L-I-Q-U-O-R-C-A-K-E-S. Okay, Lulu with the liquor cakes. Damn, and I bet this shit was good as f too. <laughs> and if anything happened to me, <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> this shit on your ass. Damn, that shit look good as uh uh, Lulu, we gonna have to um, we gonna have to, we gonna have to contact each other. I'm gonna have to call Lulu, cause I want this, I want this right, I want this more right. Wait a minute now, is this supposed to be green? Yeah, I think so. Um, Lulu, Lulu, damn it, Lulu, shit. Nah, we, I'm, I'm gonna write Lulu, and we gonna have to get this together, baby. Resend this, resend this, Lulu. Let me have my antennas on. My antennas ain't even on. This right here came from the Nina treatment. Okay, T-H-E-N-I-N-A treatment. Yeah, that was her Instagram, y'all, and her TikTok, the Nina treatment. Let me see what Nina got off of this bitch. Hey, Nina! <laughs> Ty, you gonna love this. This bitch smell beautiful. Bitch, this shit smell like how you look, baby. 
This sex and smelling ass shit, this fine ass shit, I'll fuck this shit. I'll be going too far. Yeah. I don't care. Can I smell? i eat it from the back. Come smell it. Yeah. yeah. I'm talking about you. Both of y'all. i eat them motherfuckers. This motherfucker smell good enough to buy it. I'm Nina. Go send me some more, bitch. I can put this in every room. You put this in the middle of the house. It's gonna have a whole damn thing smelling good. Nina, go like a f with this. Cousins cooking. This came from Cousins cooking. Okay. Okay, Coco. Coco. Okay, since you're so busy, I mailed a box for you and your lady. I hope you enjoy. Baked with love. Oops, this is gonna be more orange and green. This is some strawberry nana pudding, nana pudding, cookie monster, joker, and ice butter pecan. Girl, I show, I wish that you, I, I like to keep my notes. I hate that though, like, y'all, Coco, and it's five as fuck. You did that, now this some raw ass shit. Cousins cooking, I'm pretty sure, maybe that's their Instagram. Y'all like to put y'all Instagram on a goddamn thing, let's see. I guess it's Cousins cooking. I'm, I'm just pretty sure that's what it is. Let me open this on up. This would've been good, I'm pretty sure it would have. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, now that look good as hell. When did you say this? Um, February. Mm -hmm. Girl, these cookies right here, I'm gonna put these in my trunk. They so hard, I can knock them out with them. I ain't even lying. I'm dead ass serious. I thought you was gonna throw it. Nah, nah, I wasn't even talking about you. I wasn't talking about you. I really wasn't though, for real. Sure? I'm dead serious, I wasn't even talking okay. about you. I can be. Okay. So now I feel like what? Okay, so do it. What? So do it. You, you heard how hard that motherfucker? <laughs> you be doing too good. <laughs> the cookie just too goddamn hard. I'll fuck around the head. You, you come by it. No. But nigga gonna be stuck in the tooth. I mean, mm -hmm. it's gonna be stuck in the cookie. What? Go ahead. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. Yo, goddamn, the nigga gonna be stuck in the Oreo on that bitch. It says, rich off arts. Okay. Let me see why the fuck rich off this art here. My camera on 20%. I think I got a little time. I got a little time. Yo, what's up, Kay? I really appreciate you showing love to my brand. Whenever you get fly with this piece, can you please tag my brand page, Rich Off Art. It's Rich Off Art with two T's in the art. Rich Off Art, more shit on the way. Okay. Rich Off Art is his Instagram. Let me see what it's in on. Oh, this bitch, you what? This shit, fresh shit full. Now that's hard. That's hard as hell. Bing. Boy, I'ma put this shit the fuck on and tag the motherfucker at you. Why your ass snap? Why your snap? Fuck out your ass. Um, this right here came from Jordan Yancey. Man, it's some Eddie's. I'm finna pull it. Fuck that. I'm about to die tonight. I'm about to pull it. Fuck that. I'm gonna get on fuck. Now, this one got a little fur on it. I ain't gonna be able to eat this. Ooh, shit. Boy, if this shit ain't had no goddamn dog fur on it, I can not eat it. But the goddamn right quick, so I'm over here turning green. Damn, this shit look good as fuck. Oh, I, I really love y'all, and I appreciate y'all for sending me stuff like this, but bro, that email, it get checked. If it don't get checked one day, it's gonna get checked the next one. Y'all gotta start emailing me when y'all send me food. Bitch, I been to eat this shit and turn it into some mashed potatoes. Damn, twin. This shit might get, hey, don't eat any edit. Let me try one. Dirt don't hurt, it just makes it work. Why this good as fuck? It's like a peach ring or something. Boy, you lame as hell. Why you tell me in advance? Don't want to fuck with y'all. Y'all, his Instagram is backup underscore sleepy treats with three Z's. Sleepy treats. You wrong as fuck, boy. You could have gave me this shit for it. I don't even want to talk about it. All right, y'all. This one came from Legend Out the Mud. Okay. My boy from Douglasville, George. Hey, this kind of nice. This ain't bad. This kind of nice and it's not bad. It's rockable. And you gave me two of them. Oh, nah, this one hard as fuck. What the fuck? That's hard as hell. I like that. This package right here came from Engineered by Dre. This is my dog. That's crazy. This is my dog. Look at that. That's raw as hell. Now that's just downright raw. I look, y'all, these is the hardest fucking shirts. I'm telling y'all, Engineered by Dre. Make sure y'all shop him. Cause he, he snaps every time. And the back of it say, I only want to work with friends. Sound like me. I'm telling you, sound like me. I don't want to work with one of my friends. I'm about to call MJ. This bitch. Boy, this shit so fine. This shit fine as hell. Yeah. If you ain't shopping with Engineer by Dre, it's because you hate and you gay. That's why. And ain't no wrong with being gay, but I'm just saying this. All right, never mind. And that is the end of this P.O. Box opening, okay? We 
we got everything open from this box. And that is great progress because it takes me a while to open a lot of stuff. I only got 10% left on my camera, so I wasn't gonna make it through this box anyways. But I feel like we just had a successful P.O. box opening. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and comment on this video. And um, if you see your brand, if I've opened your brand or anything like that, you may screen record a video, use it for any purpose that your ass want, because I don't give a damn. Now, really use it as motivation. If I didn't like your brand, that don't mean stop. Because just because I don't like your brand don't mean that somebody else won't. Like my mama and my parents and stuff like everybody else, they like simple shit. I just like shit that I can like overly style, that I can overly wear. You know what I'm saying? Like pull that shit, pull something out when it come down to it. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and comment on this video again in case y'all haven't already. Just come in the exclamation mark. If you want to send me your brand, my P.O. box is in my Instagram's bio, okay? Now, is it going to be promised that I get straight to it? No. As you can see, a lot of this stuff came from January, uh, February. A lot of this shit be old as hell and I get to it when I can. I am trying to start like getting this shit out the way when I first get it, you know what I'm saying? Cause this is my um supporter mail and I've been trying to really open y'all stuff and show it off for y'all. Cause I'm not really, you know what I'm saying? I'm not really, I don't really care about getting paid for it. You know what I'm saying? So if you do want to pay me for personal promo on every last platform, then you can. I don't charge that much. I will post it on every platform. My biggest platform is Facebook. I do not post my PO box openings on Facebook. But if you pay me to promote your brand, I will do a whole fit check to go on every platform, a video and pictures with a collab post, okay? So. We have to be nigga fake, they some ass up. Snap this out when I dance with the Glock like a pal. Like step on his ass like some glass. Like some These niggas know I've been doing this shit on Crip. I swear to God, it ain't new. Told the bitch after I hit this bitch, you gotta do. One other bitch out of